Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome to a game that's new to me. Congratulations! Whoa, that's kind of cool. I am playing Jeremy Brain, Brain Doctor. All right, so use the mouse to look around. Okay. Um. Oh, that is such a Doctor, cool. Doctor, oh. thank goodness you're here. Now go ahead and hop in that chair, and let's start the session. This is such a cool way to start the game. All right. Um. Hello, patient. Um, you see my mad ups? I could. All right. Let me just hop in the chair. It's with the patient. Doctor Brain. I am going absolutely crazy. See, uh, my my wife, or or I mean, my wife and I. Um, she she wants to have children, but every time I get into bed with her and I'm asked to perform, I can't seem to get a um, <clears throat> a, an an erection. Um, so what I need from you is I need you to just go ahead and give me some kind of medicine that's going to give me a real nice erection so I can conceive with my wife and, and have a child. Can you do that? Uh, let me show you how it works. Oh, what the hell's going on? I have a secret passage. See, so you, you're not getting aroused enough? Here, will this help? Okay, put this in your mouth. Oh, 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 oh America. America. Oh, America. Oh, God, I always feel better like that. Why do you look horrified? It's normal to do that to your patients. Do not go home and tell your wife about it. All right, let's see if we can find you some boner medicine. Now, um, doctor, I said I do not want any kind of therapy. I just want you to give me a pill. I do not want you going into my head and trying to explore what's ticking with me. What if I put my dick in your head? Will that help? What's up, dickhead? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> All right. I have to fix your brain so you can get over your performance anxiety. First of all, let me punch you in the nose. Ugh, fine. We can talk. But I'm telling you, there ain't nothing there. Look, I'm a man of many hobbies. I have a power boat. You know, I have a good life. There's nothing that no talk therapy is gonna fix or unearth that's gonna in any way make me better than a dang, you know, erection pill. You have a power boat. You got that going for you. Can I motor? You should motorboat your wife. I don't want to motorboat your wife. I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> you know, I don't think you need to come to me for... Ah! Well, sure, I've got some issues with my father. But, I mean, whose dad doesn't tell them? Son, you are a loser, and you will never, ever be a man, no matter how hard you try. But, I mean, that's just par for the course, right? Either way... My dad's dead, so he doesn't have control over my life anymore. Well, one of your problems there is, uh, you say it's hard, but the problem is it's not hard, sir. Secondly, if you're trying to have sex with a lovely lady and you're thinking of your dead dad, yeah, you probably got a problem. I'm sure that's not gonna So get you're me. saying that just the mental representation of my father is causing me to be unable to conceive with my wife. Well, maybe if I could show this mental representation some things I've accomplished in my life, I could prove to him and to myself, that I'm not a loser. Maybe instead of trying to prove... Maybe instead of when you're like, oh, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, baby, oh, I can't stay hard. I have to prove I'm a man to my dad! Instead of thinking about your dad, maybe think about your wife's luscious um, breastuses or buttocks or some other female feature. Quit thinking about your dad when you're having sex. Well, first of all, I've climbed the career ladder and I've done quite well for myself. I'm a senior vice president of electrical compositing at Texacorp. Now, that ain't no job a loser could get. I don't know. Texacorp sounds like a pretty loser company to me. How do I, do I open this wall? Help! I'm trapped inside your brain! You motherfucking insane. Um, do I go backwards? Let me out! I should have just given him a freaking boner pill. God, this wall, it's tripping me out. Alright, did it come back to his angry side? Oh, I think so. What's up, Grumpy McGrumpfuck? Oh, that's probably not a nice name to call my patient. Uh, yeah, you're at Texaco. You're a vice president, yeah, get your nuts off that way. What's this? Well, that seemed like a pretty easy puzzle. Um, what about this one? 
Oh, look, I made stairs. Oh, God, I'm going to die in this idiot's brain. That's worrisome. Uh, uh, uh. You always want to hear that sound out of your therapist. All right. I didn't realize there's going to be platforming involved in psychology. All right. Hopefully I can just fall down these. Whee! You know, why don't you let me conceive with your wife? Save everybody some time and effort. Is she hot? Oh, you lift weights. Do you lift, bro? Great. Also, I'm basically the healthiest person I know. Growing up, I was a little bit of a chubster, but now I go to the gym five, six times a week with my gym buddy, Sylvester Stevens. The two of us have sculpted our bodies into something that makes the other men pretty dang envious. Oh, he's not straight. He's gonna learn he likes the guys, which is okay, but... Oh, wait, what's this back here? I need to get behind your head. How do I... Can I reach that from here? I need to... Something about an erection? Oh, God, no, he's... He was turned on by me putting my dick in his mouth. That's the test we psychologists do. I can't get it with my wife. Well, open your mouth and let me put my dick in. We'll see if you're gay. He's like, I don't think that's how it works. Shh. Just suck on my dick. <laughs> that seems inappropriate. Here goes nothing. Ah! Uh, it was a bird for a moment. I believe I can fly. I can believe I can get this guy to get an erection. And then there's my wife. I know sometimes I think too much and I go around and around and around and around in my head wondering, is this who I want to be with? Do I love this woman? Why does it sometimes not feel right? Because she doesn't have a dick? How do I get out of your fucking head? Oh, there we go. That was a really cool part. How you run around in a circle. And, uh. But then I look at her and, and I see how beautiful she is. I remember that she's the belle of the ball. And that any normal man would be lucky to have her. She's got no butt talk. Besides, that's what dad always said. You know, a strong man gets a beautiful woman. And that's the most important thing. But look, dad, I did it. I did it. I have a beautiful wife. You need to learn to live for yourself, dude. Your wife is going to be so... Can you send your wife to me once she realizes that her husband's gay? She's going to be really desperate. I mean, sad. And need lots of comforting. And I can try the dick test on her. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Hi, I'm back. Look at all I've accomplished, Dad. Look at what I've done with my life. More than you ever did. You can't say I'm a loser. And I'm not a man. I won't let you have control over my life anymore. Push the red button to achieve an erection. For me or him? Because I'm already sporting one, thanks. Not really. But even with him gone, something still doesn't feel right. My life, as good as it is, it doesn't feel like the life I'm supposed to be living. And, oh my god, I think I know why. Yeah, you're gay. I, think I finally figured it out. You like Steve. I'm sorry for your wife. Wee! I don't love my wife. I love Sylvester Stevens. My gym buddy. My best friend. My soulmate. And you helped me figure it out, Doc. You helped me see the light. But now what do I do? How do I tell my wife that I'm gay? How do I tell Sylvester Stevens that I'm in love with him? Oh, I see you looking at your clock. I know what that means. We're out of time. Guess I've got to come back for some more therapy. Looks this, like we've got a lot more adventures ahead of us, don't we, Doctor? This is all we have to do. Call your wife in for a group session, and I'll be like, Close your eyes, wife. Now open them up. Oh, oh, oh. She'll be like, Why are you sucking that man's dick? It's because he's gay. She'll be like, That's the worst way to come out ever. I don't know. Don't stop it. Well, everybody, that was um, a Jeremy Brain Brain Doctor. I liked it. That was really different and original. That was really fun. Um, if you want to check it out, there's, there's a link in the description. Uh, the end. It escaped to quit. That was really cool. Goodbye. I'll see, oh, oh, the end. And we achieved bone. We achieved an erection. It's not every game you achieve an erection at the end. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>